You're probably wondering why we started with that opening shot, and I'll tell you at the end of the story. Uh, so quick update on what's happened at the Capitol this week, particularly on a bill I just introduced today. You'll see we're here at the community office here as we walk. So just today, uh, proposed and passed a bill out of the State Veterans and Military Affairs Committee on inactive voter status. What this is is a bill that currently under state law what's happened is that if you miss one election, so say you didn't vote in 2010 because you were in the hospital getting a hip replacement or you were serving the U.S. government in active duty uh, warfare in Iraq or because you just didn't like any of the candidates, if you failed to vote in that election you automatically get put on what's called inactive status which means you're now considered not an active voter. And if you'd requested before to be a vote by mail voter, they kick you off the vote by mail list, which means you now are no longer gonna receive a ballot in 2012, because we're just gonna assume because you didn't vote once, you're not gonna vote again. So this bill is gonna restore all the 300,000 Coloradans who risk not getting ballots this election cycle and make sure that they get a ballot in the same way that they requested. Anna's going to say there's no such thing as an inactive voter for failing to vote. If you choose not to vote or you fail to vote, that doesn't compromise your constitutional right to keep voting, nor is the government going to assume that you're not going to vote the next time. We're going to keep you in the same status as every other voter uh, because that's a right that you keep and the state can't take away from you. So that's a little bit of an update. That'll be going to the Senate floor uh, later this week and we'll keep you posted in the weeks to come. The reason why we're here today is there was another exciting development this week, which is people who've been to our community center before know that this was the site of a terrible arson about two years ago, which was this shopping center was burned down uh, in a gang battle that resulted in uh, an arson attack here. And since then, we've been working together with this community to try to help rebuild this space. And we're uh, so honored that this week there was announced that where you see now that, that uh, taco shack will be a new Boys and Girls Club. And that Boys and Girls Club will be able to serve all the people uh, from this community and let, let the young people know that now they have uh, a real another opportunity in this neighborhood to get involved in, in positive stuff. And so I think of a high school biology teacher who taught me this great lesson about ecological succession, which is an ecological succession. Sometimes when the forest grows too tall, that all of the creatures that survive on the undergrowth uh, hard, find it hard to find nutrition there because it blocks out the sun. And so when forest fires come as a natural part of nature and they sweep out that whole forest, what actually happens is that the ashes that lay at the bottom of that forest now become the best nutrients to start the rebirth of that ecosystem. That's the place where from that fire comes new life. And so really excited that this week from our fire in the holly, now is going to come new life. Uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you again next week.